Welcome everybody to Pleiadians Awakening. So good to all be together again now that on our new monthly format. Um, and I'm delighted to let you know that we're joined in the presence of the celestial Lou Van Stone. Yay! Welcome, Yay. Lou. <laughs> Um, Lou is a celestial singer, multi-instrumentalist and sound healer who deeply moves her audiences worldwide with her soaring ethereal voice. Lou's heavenly tones and five octave range, octave range will take you on a deep voyage of discovery. Both sound priestess and shaman, Lou channels divine music from deep in the earth and high in the heavens and breathes it into you. She is a vessel for the forces of nature absorbing the energy of this sacred land and birthing it into song. This transcends singing, it's sonic surgery, penetrating deep into your cells, leaving them vibrating with light. Truly music from the beyond. Welcome, Lou. It's so good to see you again and have you in the Pleiadians group. It's so wonderful to be here. Thank you, David, and thank you, Karen, and thanks for everyone for being here. It's very magical to be gathered here in this way. It's it's such a treat. Lou, um, before you um before you sing, my darling, would you would you be able to tell us a bit about your spiritual journey and how you um you you kind of went from advertising once upon a time, the advertising world into celestial singing, etc. Like what happened and how did you get here? Okay, that's a good question. Um, so yes, I had, I've had an interesting, um, what is the word, transition? Um, so yes, I was in the advertising world. I was a creative in advertising, a copywriter in London, doing TV commercials and radio and press and all that kind of stuff which actually is <laughs> has actually turned out well now with what I'm doing to have that, that skill set. Um, but I was in, in the corporate world in London um, uh, and I'm getting more and more interested in, in feminism at the moment and I'm hearing things and I'm just seeing it with new eyes how, how I was in that role in advertising in London and trying to be like a man basically and kind of in, in a very especially the creative department in advertising, it was very male dominated and um, it was in the good old days of the 80s. So I'm not saying it was bad, it was bloody good fun. We did have some, we had a good time. So if, you, if I've got to work in the corporate world, it was pretty amazing. Um, and I was a bit of a party girl and, you know, um, and it's funny, I've done the artist, the book, The Artist's Way. I don't know if any of you know of that book. It's wonderful, yes. <laughs> um, in fact, I found the copy of it the other day. I'm going to have to um, start doing it again. Um, and that was some years later, but um, I've done the artist's way and just looking, um, they talk about shadow careers when you have, when you're artistic and creative and, um, and you know, working as a creative in advertising is still a creative career. And so, you know, but it's a shadow career because it's not quite, quite there um so i was working there um highly stressed so i realized i'm highly set i'm a highly sensitive person very very you know empathic so um i had to sort of uh, do a lot to kind of cope with the sometimes stress of work um and so yes i was a big drinker and um so that that was what was happening to me then. As I said, we did have a good time in the eighties and nineties in advertising. It wasn't all bad, but it was high stress, um, and various things happened. But one of them was I wasn't singing at that time. But what I would do is I would um, have a few drinks and then sing to my, <laughs> with friends. We'd get together with a group of friends and we would sing and. Um, sort of up till four in the morning and I would be like yes I just and I would feel feel all of this drama and this this feeling inside me and I didn't really know what it was uh, and then one night I said right that's it I'm gonna go and get some singing lessons I've got to to, to do this singing thing so I um, and I didn't do it by half so I rang the Royal College of Music in London and <laughs> started lessons with a student who was attending the Royal College and I actually studied classical classically 
Um, and that was actually before I joined a choir. That's right. The first thing I did was join a choir and then I got frustrated and I went, I want to be the soloist and I want to be, um, yeah, the featured artist and I'm taking it much more seriously than everyone else seemed to be. Anyway, then I found a singing teacher and started that journey and I think that a lot of um, things changed during that time. I, I believe that was the real beginning of my spiritual journey, the, the opening up through singing. Um, and then uh, I'm just trying to sort of get, <laughs> get it in order. Um, so I started singing, I started doing solos and singing at weddings and doing just the sort of opera soprano-y type of thing, still working in advertising. Um, and then uh, I'm still a party girl. And then one of one pivotal moment was um, still drinking, and I, I had a relationship break up, and I was in a bit of a mess. And um, my friend suggested I came to the yoga class at lunchtime around the corner from the office, and it was in the big sort of fancy gym where I was just used to be going and on the running machine and doing weights. And she said, "Come to this yoga class." And that was a really amazing experience. And, and I believe there was an awakening at that point, at that first class. Um, something, something changed in me. Um, and I won't go into all the details, but um, the following, um, the following, about a year later. So I started on this journey. I was doing more and more yoga and then I discovered personal development as well. So I, I started doing personal development courses. And the first course that I did, I cried all weekend. I, it was a weekend, three day, and I just cried nonstop. No one else was crying. I just had, <laughs> I hadn't had that kind of experience. There was, um, and we had to not drink on the Friday night and say that, um, we weren't going to drink alcohol for the whole weekend. And of course, everyone was going, oh my God, it's all really bad. I can't do that. And so we did this weekend and um, and at, at the end, I was on a massive high. And they said, right, at the end, we opened the bar. And I was just completely high because we did all the hugging and te people telling them, telling you what they, telling me what, why they loved me and all this kind of, and I've since watched a documentary on um, uh, therapy cults, and I realised that this was a bit of a therapy cult because they get, you made you feel really high at the end, <laughs> and then told you why you need why you needed to go back and do more courses to keep that high feeling. So, um, yeah, if you've watched that documentary, highly recommended. It's a bit full on called Seduced, um, with Catherine Oxenberg's daughter. And I've forgotten the name of the... Anyway, that said, I did get a very lot out of this personal development course. And um, I got a lot out of it. So I'm not saying it was only later I realised, oh, yeah. So I got heavily involved in that. And as I said, when they opened the bar, um, I, I was so high on, on the love vibe that I thought I don't need to drink. I, I actually don't need to drink. And that was my first experience of socializing and connecting and feeling good without um, having alcohol in my system uh, and so yes I got very heavily involved with this particular group did all the courses all that you know became an, an assistant did all this weird stuff um, but the the teachings you know the basic spiritual principles in this were good there was meditation and all sorts of things so I, I'm not knocking that um, and so I would get high on these, on the vibe of going into to the workshops and then I wouldn't drink for long periods of time. And then right at the end, I would have some drinks. And what I noticed was going longer periods without drinking, I would, I would be sort of blackout drunk very quickly. So many other things happened to precipitate the, the day when um, I gave up alcohol and I won't go into the full story of that, but it was an, a really amazing experience that I had and something shifted, something clicked inside me. And I describe it as being sort of picked up by the scruff of the neck 
and just put exactly where I needed to be and um, something inside me changed and very early on in those days somebody suggested oh maybe you sound like you're a walk-in there's a you've had a walk-in situation because you've had such a huge change and I've been listening to um, a lot of uh, Karen of your of your podcast recently and um, there's been talk of walk-ins and I just uh, forgive me I just can't remember um, the name it, it was literally a week ago and it's just um, probably Sheila Sheila Seppi Yes, it was Sheila. That's exactly, that. that's right, it was Sheila. Um, so that was interesting. And I think, and then I went, no, but I'm not a complete walk and I think maybe I'm a 50-50 because some of me was left because I thought I didn't want to be all gone. So, um, but I certainly, I'd forgotten about walk-ins. Yes, that's right. And I was listening to Sheila speaking and I uh, thought, well, yes, that's right. So it was a huge, massive turnaround shift. And... Um, I won't go into all the details, but I ended up going into a 12 step program as well, which was really, really, really fantastic with the spiritual um, and my sobriety. And so, um, and in fact, my sister is now sober, four years sober, and she uh, does a podcast called Sober Awkward, and it's all about the sober curious. So they're doing really well. So there's a whole movement, a whole new movement of uh, alcohol-free life. So you can check that out if you're sober, sober awkward. Um, so, so much happened then, but I, I really did have a huge turnaround and um, started to live my life without alcohol. That's a whole other other um, talk. Luke, but, can, I um, you, yes? can I ask you? Yes. Can I ask you when you connected to the galactic you know, the galactic frequencies and started channeling the, the sort of uh, sounds of Sirius and the Pleiades. And, you know, when did that start? Because So that's, a, that's exactly perfectly timed because it was only r- recently I saw myself right back there within about the first six months of not having a drink. And I remember sitting in a car waiting for someone to come, come back. And I remember all of this music was starting in my ear and it was only recently I realized that was the point when the channeling began and I started to hear all these tunes and these melodies and this and this music Um, and that was in about 1999 so I didn't really connect it but it was only recently that that was happening within me Um, and then uh, uh, later on my we went to India and, and I think it's been a sort of progression of things going to India, meditation, all of these various parts on the journey that helped um, awaken that within me. And then a few years later, I went to the Starlight Festival in Bangalore and I'd had one session with, um, oh my God, I've just her names <laughs> escaped me just for a moment, it'll come back. I'd had one session that a friend had recommended. Um, I was up in near Byron Bay and I had a sound healing session. I believe something very powerful happened in that. And then at the Starlight Festival, I went to a workshop um, and with the same lady and she said, okay, now to the everyone in the audience, she was speaking in light language. She said, just tune in, focus on your breath and then allow the words to 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 come through and my thinking mind my ego mind came in and went no you won't be able to do that and then i thought then this other voice came in and said just trust breathe and speak and it just came tumbling out um and then from that point um i started to to speak and mainly sing um, and then during that time, I actually ended up doing a music degree. So I went more into the into the um, the real musician and singing side of things. But the spiritual side was there. Um, and then I did a teacher training with Chris James as well. Back I think it was about two thousand and three, something like that. Um, and I, I still used the work that I studied there with him in my workshops and. So that gradually helped 
and then I believe um, it was when I um, connected with my now teacher who I've been with for many years and I was at the Lismore car boot market I was actually playing the, the, the market there and I was actually had my stall with all my CDs and I was thinking I don't really want to play here but it's got a roof on it and there was a lot of rain and so I went there and I was playing and then um, my teacher came past he, and he has cerebral palsy and he's in a wheelchair and this man came up to me and he said your music is good but it's not good enough and if it Anybody, if anybody else had said that to me, I would have just crumbled because I was all open. I'd been singing. I would have just absolutely crumbled. But um, uh, I, I didn't feel any sting because he was just coming from such a pure space. And um, he said, OK, I'm going to give you a meditation practice and you are to begin tomorrow morning. And I said, yes, OK. <laughs> And I began that following morning and then he's he's been with me all along um, and just working with me, it's not even with words really. So I've just evolved probably at a faster pace than I would if, if I was doing it on my own. But he's not actually molding or telling me what to do. It's just, um, it's, I, it's, 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 it's hard really to even put it into words. Um, but yes, so that's interesting. And then to see Lismore at the moment, that spot, all of that, where it was all completely um, underwater, that whole area, it's, uh, yeah, it's very shocking. Um, so so that's be, been it. And then it's been evolving more and more, more and more musically. And um, so I, I speak, I tend to step out of the way. I sometimes know what I'm saying, uh, but I tend to literally step out of the way and be the pipe or the conduit, because if I start to try and analyze the meaning of the words or, or whatever the music, the energy that's coming through, then then that takes, it's going to take me out of um, the, that space. So um, with the work that I do, uh, somebody described it they were watching me at the mind body spirit festival and, and there was an audience there and they said basically you, you just step out of the way and then I channel spontaneously so I'll channel all the music will be created in the moment and the light language and they said it's it's like your higher self is speaking to so they will call through you their higher self will call through you whatever it is that they need so each individual person will have a different completely different experience and so I just get to be the the delivery system the pipe um, that brings it through so I, I really enjoy it because I never know what <laughs> what's going to come in occasionally my musician head will come will pop in for a little check just to check it's all um, and sometimes I go so deep that suddenly I forget how to play instruments and that kind of thing Lou but, um, do you know um where it's coming from, just a geographical question in the universe. Yes. And is um, it a, and well, is, is, it, do you, is it like a mob of people, like a group of, of beings who come through you, or do you feel like it's one, one higher self? I think it's definitely a mob and I'm definitely from different, different places and different, different tongues, different languages. Um, it's like and, universe, and you've got talent. <laughs> it is, yes. And sometimes I'll be, I'll be on stage or doing, doing a, um, an event, like an, an, uh, an in-person sound healing journey or an online one such as this, and I'll have all my plans and I'll say, look, just um, maybe play some instruments in the middle, do a bit of drumming or some flutes just to kind of, you know, not be wall-to-wall -wall singing because it's intense for everybody. And, and I'll have a plan, but it's like literally, and then, then I'll sing in high voice. The voices will come in the very high, ethereal, um, celestial voices, and then also very deep, shamanic, more earthy, more masculine sounds. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll finish and I'll go, and my musician head will go, oh, this is a nice place to finish. This feels like the right... 
another one voice will be no i've got to come up no we need to do a solo here we need to just so um uh, yes a lot of people have um uh, are saying yes definitely pleiadian um uh, a lot of people at festivals have come up to me and say that they recognize um some of the light languages but there's there are many and I know that I have a, a much longer journey to go as a as an apprentice of this of being this vessel so um, the best way I can serve that is to focus on my breath and step out of the way as much as much as possible because uh, yeah this is not a road for the mind that's for sure Lou, and as as your experience of being, say, a walk-in now, um, do you do you feel still sort of like a little bit British or a little bit Australian, or do you kind of think you're you're an, you're a soul inhabiting the body that was formerly known as Lou Van Stone, but isn't <laughs> Lou Van Stone, and it's a very useful, beautiful body to live in, but there isn't a lot of well, there's the story that went with old Lou, so you've got an identity on the planet, but you're like a galactic being now happening to be helping out earthlings. Do you feel a bit like that? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, definitely. Um, I love the phrase galactic gals from down under. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> I want to be in that tribe. Um, but yes, definitely very, still very English, still a lot of that. That's what I love about my life is that I've got to keep that level of fun and that old me, the kind of old advertising Lou as well is still there. It's very much, um, yeah, my lifestyle is very different, but um, the humour and all of that kind of thing and the English, um, loving all the English TV and, and that kind of stuff. So that that's still there. But then, um, yes, it's very much when I'm in a state of channel, um, yeah, it's it's just I'm I am being of service to to those which who want to come through, if that makes sense. Fantastic. But um, yes, it's a. Uh, I, I want to say a couple of words. Yes, yes. So David introduced me to Lou about twenty two years ago during that transition stage when you were in still in the corporate world and wanting to sort of get out of the rat race and but you didn't really know what you wanted to do you just knew you wanted to get out of that whole rat race and have a different lifestyle and so I've witnessed your journey over the years and I have to say that oh my god Lou you have worked so hard you know every single time there was some conscious event on you were there offering your music for free I mean I can't tell you how many times Lou gave me tickets to the mind body spirit because she was always there usually at the front door offering her music you know for free doing stage performance after stage performance after stage performance and yeah girl you have worked so hard and I have to say for people that don't know who you are, you've actually got really an amazing name for yourself. I've, I've got friends overseas like Clara Apollo had, you know, you on her show and she was like, oh, my God, Lou Vanstone, we all love Lou, you know, over in the UK. So you've got a following, but you've worked hard for it, girl. You've really worked hard for it. So I want to honour you for that. Oh, bless you, Clara, and that's made my day, my week, my month, my year, <laughs> my decade. That's just lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so let's hear some of your oh, I'm going to cry now let's hear some of your oh, amazing celestial you. sounds <laughs> so um thank you and thank you for all um holding the space and being here for me to talk about <laughs> talk about that it, it's it's very interesting to when you're asked to to share share your life your life's journey and and then it's often that um, I can have an epiphany but it's a way of seeing things through different eyes as well and also pick pinpointing the bits that um yeah to focus in on and um yes and i want to thank you also karen because the sessions that i had with you at that time they were very very um pivotal also in that transition it, it was the, the work that we did um together uh, was yeah, I'll never forget that. There was a period of a few weeks and it was when I got really sick with chronic fatigue, which was all 
orchestrated but again that's a story for another day but that was amazing it it, it, it uh, meant that I could stop work and go and study music it was just and and that was during that time where I had these health issues and then suddenly the health issues led me onto a different path so yes so what I'm going to do for you now is um I'll do a sound healing journey for you and so much as I said at the beginning, I'm a conduit of hype. So all that are gathered here and also any any beings and people that will come to YouTube, watch this later, the replay, um, that your collective energy will bring through whatever, whatever music, light language, melodies, harmonies, frequencies, um, and each one of you will have a different experience. So my focus and my intention it's like the lovely man who had the was on the train <laughs> what was his name the guy on the train with the um james james with the, the light. White light coming up so i was thinking yes that's that's my <laughs> my intention is so that everyone feels feels like that at the end so so let opening up to let the light in and I'll play, I have in, some instruments here. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I won't play, I have, I have other soundscapes that I've also composed as well that I'll be playing. Uh, I'll also be singing in, so don't be concerned. Just to, to, just to give you the, the warning that I will be singing in, the, in a deeper, more masculine voice as well. Because the first time I started to do that, someone said, oh, I was in your sound healing. And then the, the voice went really deep and I wasn't expecting it. So I always let people know that yeah, there's more of a deeper, it's more of a clearing, sort of shifting voice. It's, um, yes, and I step out of the way and I'll, I'll just do a, a very brief guided um, relaxation and then um, we'll get, it's basically fasten your seatbelts and we'll go for a galactic cosmic ride together. Um, and timing wise, David, um, just so otherwise, because I, I might have to just have some sort of um, idea in my mind um, uh, when this will complete. Otherwise, I will go on and on. Yeah, well, yes. Well, I don't I won't go on and on. It will finish at the right time. But I just want to have some framework while I'm yes. just here. Lou, um, are you happy? Is it like half an hour or something like that? 30, 40 minutes, 20, 30, 40 minutes? Yes, yes. I could go. Yes, that would be about you, it. And then I can be here for questions. Do you need current to interrupt and beep you or in any oh, way? No, that's you... fine. I, no, I'm still I'll still be aware. <laughs> yeah. You won't have to ring a bell. <laughs> Walk-ins welcome. Unless I go really deep, and then you might. <laughs> that was my friend who's a hypnotherapist on online, and she was doing a session with somebody, and and they went so deep they she couldn't wake them up, and they were online, and she was ringing all the different phones. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it took about twenty minutes. She was going, wake, wake up, wake up. Um, yes. So that's one of the. The dangers of uh, online things <laughs> you go too deep okay so um it's been wonderful sharing that with you and now um we'll settle in and it is my intention to to tune in and to bring through all of the love the light the colors the frequencies that each and every one of you are needing right now. So we're just going to bring our focus and awareness to our breath. So breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Receiving this opening invocation. As you make yourself comfortable, 
Closing your eyes. If you wish to lie down, you, you can. Or seat with your... Be seated with your feet firmly on the ground. As we tune into the elements of this earth. Grounding our feet into the earth. Feeling ourselves held by Mother Gaia. You breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Siamai kiani mori. Chitanai ti na a a a. Spreading in through your nose and out through your mouth. On the inward breath. Drawing in all unconditional love to the center of the earth. Another outward breath, outward breath, letting go of what is no longer serving you. Just relaxing your toes, your feet. Focus and awareness to your ankles, calf muscles, and knees, softening and relaxing. Kiana o chitiene e e maha chitiene. Relaxing thigh muscles, thigh bones, buttocks, hips, softening the belly, softening the abdomen. Sink deeper into relaxation, priming yourself, readying yourself energetically to receive all that you call forth. Solar plexus, heart, chest, and lung. Relaxing fingers and arms, hands and shoulders. Kiana hai chine iena. Softening the back, the spine. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Softening the jaw, just letting the jaw just drop, hang. The mouth, the roof of the mouth, the nose, muscles of the face, softening. Breathing and softening. Breathing in and relaxing deep. Softening the muscles, 
of face. Relaxing the backs of the eyes. Tiana oi, Tiana a e e e e e. Mimrana Tiana ai, Tiana o, Tiana a a e. Tiana a e. Ready yourself to receive on a cellular level all that you call forth in your innate wisdom, in your deep knowingness, calling forth sonic frequencies and light codes to activate. To stimulate, to restore, replenish, reboot, reset. Sonic frequencies that allow you through the breath, through your own letting go, allowing you to shed what is no longer needed. As you open yourself to receive. Yeah. 
Ti iam na hart ki he moti. Ti tia na mana na ti ti ye na ha. Ti tia na ni ye ko tu no mani ni tia na a e. Ti tia na moti ke na ni ye ha na kai ti tia na me he ne ye i o ko na a i te. Bri na chi chi a mo ko chi chi a na a a. Yeah. 
stillness and silence. Assessing and feeling. Tuning in and tapping in to your innate wisdom. Your innate power and magnificence. Shedding old skin. And stepping into the cloak of newness, of new ways of being, new ways of seeing, new ways of functioning as you shine your light out into this world. And this cloak of newness will be seen by those you are ready to see and to feel. And just tuning into your very heart space, your center. And breathing in. Breathing out. There's a sacred seal of breath in this sacred contract, sealing it with your conscious, flowing, divine breath. And so, just beginning to Bring yourself back into the body, touching the fingers, the thumbs, with the toes, just moving your body however you wish, what do you need in this moment right now? And remember that we have gone very deep. 
and this is multi-layered and multi faceted like a rich tapestry so it will continue to unfold in the next few days and weeks I encourage you to write, to journal, to paint, draw, express, dance, draw symbols in the sand, however you feel that this energy that, is, that you have called forth tonight, however that wants to express. And just trust yourself, trust new beginnings, new openings, new opportunities. Trust in your own divine space and knowing that you can create your own reality just with the breath and the thinking that comes from the conscious space. My honor to share this um, time and space with you. Beautiful, just amazing. Thank you, Karen. That's magic. Thank you so much, Lou. That's so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, just incredible. I have to say, there was some sound issues. Did everyone hear those sound issues, or was it just me? Yeah, there was a few sound issues, but it didn't matter because it was just so incredible. Yeah, go on. I think sometimes it's easier um, to turn the video off when the sound's coming through and it, um, it helps. Um, but I see it was still very deep. Yeah, I don't know if it was the video. I feel like it was just interference from... I don't know. Um, I, I also had an issue here with this. So this machine is 14 years old. It's absolutely fin finished. So I was having so you might have got when I was um, pressing the button, um, and I've been so new one is on order. I've got the new super duper fantastic one coming. So next time, um, and I sound wise, I have been. Um, researching and uh, uh, testing all day <laughs> so, like, yeah so but was you, it distorting was the sound distorting yeah but you know when you bring through these galactic frequencies you know sometimes it just just does that it just does that somebody's going okay, i want to ask sorry go on I want to ask people, because there's so many galactic goddesses and gods in this group that, that do light language and look at Sula and the cat. And uh, I want to ask people what they got from that transmission. Did they have their own guides talking to them? Uh, yeah, because that was, yeah, I want to know what, how it, it landed on people. Anyone want to put up their hand? I'll call on you if you don't. Oh, yeah, Rachel, you want to come on camera, honey? Yeah, okay. And you just spotlight. Hi. Hi. That was Hi, really Rachel. Hello, Lou. Thank you Hi, so Lou. much. <laughs> that, was, that was just, um, I feel a little bit lost for words. I actually speak, I speak light language also, and I had my light language coming through. Yeah. But I've been working with Isis and Hathor lately, and they came through. Um, and so, and gave me crystals and a crown. And of course, Hathor is the, the uh, voice, uh, the energy of a thousand voices or something. I can't remember it now. Words have escaped me. But it so made sense that Hathor would come through while you were singing in that way, delivering light language. Um, also, Hathor was doing a lot of work with stargates. And so she opened a stargate tonight with me now um and <laughs> showed me how to open stargates and it was just phenomenal <laughs> oh wow that's really fabulous. really powerful thank you for share for sharing that now um am i'm are you the dragon energy yes lady yes 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, but I, 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 your name has just got, it's just gone. What was your... Rachel, it's Rachel. Rachel, and you were on Karen's um, podcast recently. Yes, Talking right. about your, the dragon energy. And so I just want to share with you, last week I was listening to that and I was driving... Um, I had to drive for an hour and a bit and I was driving and then when you did your light language I was driving going towards um, Rainbow Beach and I had all these huge trees on either side and I just <laughs> nearly crashed the car and I felt this re really amazing energy coming through so that's very interesting and then so I probably got you I have definitely got your transmission that came came through there and so it's elements of that um, have uh, permeated the whatever has come through again hard to speak in words and to, to articulate in words but mm. the, when I when I'm like that I I I simplify it to it's like <laughs> it's a two thumbs up so you you when I was in the car driving it was that and then you've heard me and it's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> <Because> <laughs> It's it. It's a box tick, but with, um, it's sometimes it's hard to articulate. Yeah, it's not so very that's often, beautiful. Not very often that I get to sit in. I'm a meditation teacher, also. It's not very often that I get to sit in and on in on a meditation and be taken through a journey. And so that was particularly a beautiful gift for me tonight. Thank you so much. And then to have these Bless things you. come through, and it was quite interesting because Isis showed herself as her galactic self. Um, rather than like with the with the human features, and so this is that was the first time I'd seen her in that way, also. Um, and so, really, really powerful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know. Thank you. Isn't she That's amazing? <laughs> this is amazing. What about you, Bianca? Did you what what? Yeah. Do you want to come on camera, huh? Add you to the spotlight. I love the I love the headdress. <laughs> my my unicorn. Hi everyone. <laughs> That was incredible. Hi. That was so amazing. Um, yeah, for me, I usually don't speak light language, but I was totally channeling stuff right with you. I was singing different notes. I don't know what my neighbours think right now. Um, <laughs> it was pretty fun. I had a wild journey. Um, just fully opened up my voice uh, and I was channeling a lot of light language. I mean, Ivy's on board and there's a few other people that and Rachel that all speak light language here so I was probably just all of it together was coming through me at the same time but um I just had such a magical journey um it was from everywhere it was just so it was yeah the universe just opened up and it was just so many channelings so whether it was people here and their their gates, their star gates coming through, um, and just just feeling it all. But beautiful, even earthy tones, very earthy tones as well. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Thank you so much. What a divine gift. Oh, thank you for sharing that. That's so awesome that you were um, accessing the light language and then singing as well. And, and the yeah, yeah, yeah blast, I hope great. you were going for it, blasting out your neighbours. That's great. That's oh, wonderful. totally. Oh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you wonderful. so much. Thank you. Mm. And what about That's you, amazing. Caroline? I see you're online. Hi, darling one. You've got your camera off, so you don't have to come online if you. But I'd love to hear what you uh, what you experienced. Where are you? Where is she? She's gone. There she is. Do you want to come on camera? Spotlight you, add you to the spotlight. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm, very, I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> How are you going? I'm good. I, I still, I'm not really, um, I'm not really very grounded or back yet. I'm still feeling a bit, um, a bit spaced out but so I don't yes. know if I have much to say but thank you so much it was really so beautiful and um you know my sound was distorting but I didn't realize that until Karen raised it I was so swept away I thought it was just all um didn't even occur to me that there was any distortion or 
freeze happening. Everything seemed completely perfectly timed. Um, and often these things feel quick, but it felt, I feel like I've been gone for about four hours. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm so yeah. happy. Thank you. It's so beautiful. I, I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like I was gone for four hours and that there's like about another four hours still to land. I, could, I yes. feel so very much, very, very much in the middle of it. Wonderful. And, and as I said at the end there, if you um, get some paper, um, pens, paint, just express mm. some, some um, automatic writing, just see what comes out in the next few days, draw some symbols. Um, yeah, just see what happens. Thank you. I, I will. I definitely will. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I'd love to hear. Yeah, if, and anyone, if anyone does any drawings or, or any form of expression, I'd, I'd love to uh, to see Actually, that or hear about. Actually, when you, even when you say symbols, I, they've started going crazy in my mind. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Fabulous. What about you, Ivy? What was going on for you? Can I add you to the spotlight? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I felt comfortably home. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. It felt um, so familiar. There are loads of many different frequencies. Yeah, it felt home. So I, um, I tried to lay down, but um, I felt I needed to continue My big canvas. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so when you when you said draw, it's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> yep, yep. That's so fine. It's actually you are part of it. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that is so, so perfect. I I feel and I sense that those frequencies are part of and it, it's just unified. So thank you. And thank it was you. a lot of confirmations for me. Wonderful. And movement-wise as well. For some reason, I saw us, me moving to your voice. Thank you. So at some point, it's going to occur. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, it, I, my movements are channeling as well as my voice. Yes. Yeah. But I couldn't draw and dance at the same time. <laughs> you were dancing and dancing in your drawing. Dancing on the side. <laughs> yeah. So I got a lot of that. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And thank you for showing me your beautiful um, art. It's just fabulous. Thank you know what you. I was experiencing? Oh, I've only experienced this once before, actually, with the Gong Guru. The first time I saw, what's his name? Who knows the Gong Guru from Sydney? What's his name? Um, I've gone blank. I've had him on the show. Anyway, amazing channeling the Hathors. It feels like and it sounds like a whole crowd. I mean, there's one voice singing, but it felt like a crowd of voices singing. Like it just, it's amazing. It's like a, it's like a distortion. Well, not distortion, but um, yeah, because you know one person singing, but I felt like there were all these people singing. Like I heard a choir was amazing. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah, it did it was there was a bit of a crowd there? I think. Well, a crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a crowd. Definitely a crowd. There. <laughs> is that is that Matt Omo? Matt Omo. Oh, thank you, David. Yes, Matt yes, Matt Omo. Yeah, the first time I saw the first time I saw Matt was here at Kuji. He did a sound thing, and he had us all with our heads in the middle, and he was in the middle playing instruments and doing all this and I honestly felt like it felt like there was a stack of people in the middle of the room and I said did you have like something else going on with other people he said no it was just me just the one person but yeah you could physically feel the presence of other beings and that's what I felt tonight with Lou as well like there was all these beings channeling through her like one vessel many beings yeah mm. wonderful yeah amazing love that. who else wants to come on what about you Mariana, all these galactic goddesses and gods online. James, anybody? Hi, else? everyone. I'm here. <laughs> My hot suit and it's not too noisy. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Mariana? Yes. Let me add you. Where are you? 
Miriana's driving, so um, okay. it's, it's, it's a bit noisy, she said. Oh, okay. Good to have you with us, Miriana. Uh, I will try to pull over and then connect with you. It's a bit okay. Up. Yeah. I can't Hi, James. To, I can't seem to add you. James, what did you experience? Hey, guys. Good to be here. Yeah, thank you so much, Lou. It was amazing. Um, I think, you know, because I'm such a noisy fellow myself and do so much of this voice work, before this whole thing, I sort of got shut down. It was so weird. Like, it felt like something came in and shut me down and sort of shut off my throat chakra, and something else happened. And by the time we finished, Lou, thank you, because my feet are buzzing, and, and I have a whole new level of earth. Strangely enough, it worked on me in a very earth and grounded root chakra down sort of way, because I have plenty of all of this up here. So the healing that came through your presentation, although I can't see you, Lou, I can only see Karen, but, but um, it, it was, it was, oh, there you are. Hello. Um, yeah, I do. I do so much of this stuff myself. And it was so nice to hear uh, a fellow singer, you know, using that whole crazy range and being such a wonderful example, because uh, I kind of keep all this madness to myself when I do it you know, coming from an opera background and a sound healing background too. And it was so nice to hear your boldness there. Yeah. Because I also take in the higher octaves as well. And I'm not, don't really have the courage to really use it, you know, in my sound healing. And it's wonderful to hear you covering the whole range. So I'm so grateful, but this opened up my whole bot. It got the whole earth star chakra and the whole lower end moving for me, which is what I probably needed. So it felt like there was a bit of a, closing in the top and an opening through the feet and then the whole bottom. So I'm still kind of dealing with that. My feet are buzzing along at a different frequency than I've actually felt before. So thank you. It was wonderful. That was fabulous. Thank you so much for sharing that and articulating that. And that, yeah, cool. that's and wonderful. Light beam grounded. Gone, I think the light beam's gone now. And what happened to that? That left. <laughs> now it's my feet. So it's all good. So. <laughs> It was too much Thank celestial you. going on. It's like time to ground. Yeah, I yeah. grounding. <laughs> it felt like I was walking on the beaches of the North Coast there at one point. You know, that's where it was sort of up there having a wander up in the rainforest up in the north. So it was quite nice. So Thank you. Gorgeous. Ground control to Major James. <laughs> huh? Thanks, James. Ground control to Major James. Exactly. Exactly. Isn't her range incredible, James? Her range just like, oh, incredible. Yeah, I, 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 Lou, have you done any classical, uh, actual classical singing, operatic and things? Yes, uh, I, tra I trained initially classically, so I tra that was the yeah. first part of my training, and then I, I studied jazz after that. But the, the I, I was I had a sort of big, but I only I didn't start till I was in my thirties. So, but okay. that's the, how I started. Oh, yeah, I was, I think I started at twenty nine thirty. And, and that was the, the foundation was classical singing. But I mean, this voice, this rich stone quality, kind of deep, kind of sultry kind of voice when you're singing jazz, I'm sure it's quite rich and, uh, you know, and, yes. and earthy, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love that whole beautiful contralto almost, even deeper than mezzo. It feels like a really warm, amazing low voice. So yeah, thank you. That's so good. Thank you. So warm. Thanks, James. Hi, Mariana. <laughs> You pulled over. I had to pull over. I needed to share this and to thank Lou. It was absolutely amazing. So driving in a car and then get surrounded by galactic beings, it is absolutely amazing experience. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. That's so wonderful that you were driving. I hope you were okay driving. Yeah, That's so, I'm, I'm That's so fine. cool. I'm, yeah, I've been... Um, like uh, working last intensively last two weeks with uh, galactic beings and then that was just absolute blessing thank you so much oh wonderful so you got a full car at the moment <laughs> yes i do <laughs> they still they still here so yeah it it is just wonderful and um opening and um getting into that stage no matter than i was driving and I needed to concentrate um, on a road that was so, so quick. And them coming down, that was quick as well. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. I hope then I will be able to draw them for you. I'll, I'll try oh, yes. my best. 
Yes, please. I'd love yeah. to see them. That would be wonderful. Yeah, there was lots of um, those really light beans. Um, there is some of those uh, gray beans as well, but they are really light, um, like glowing um, gray. So I cannot really say that they are short or tall grays, but they were really glowing, not not dull colors. So yeah, and there was um, also uh, Palladians and Arcturians as well. So yeah, I'll I'll try my best to put on a paper. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to see that. And thank what? you for sharing that. That's that's very special. Thank you. Quite a mob. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Kathy? Hi, Kathy. You want to come on and share your experience? Thank you. Thanks, Maria. I've got to unmute you, honey one. Unmute. Here I am. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Lou. That was beautiful. Where and um, my hands are still stuck in a in a mudra. Like I kept going and it's it still doesn't want to break so I'm just going with it um I have um uh I was responding I still feel it it's like um this energy around my uh, my sacral sort of area it's like a, it's, it's almost like a, uh, and I, I can't shake that off either and I feel still in an altered state but I was definitely I was you know I I I do toning and so there were certain um parts where I was just <laughs> you know and I was going off um just in response to your beautiful chorus of beings and coming through it was just glorious thank you so much now I feel like I just need to go to bed and sleep I'm just, you know it's um yeah it's just really made me feel very tired as well but I have to go to bed like this <laughs> I love that. I love your mudra. It's so good. <laughs> and th that you were um, toning. That's fantastic as well. Opening up the voice. Fabulous. Okay. How about you, Kathy? Tilly Cat. Have, have a wonderful sleep. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, David? Oh, I'm asking other Kathy. Hi, Kathy, uh -huh. who's a singer too. Hi. I'm, <laughs> I'm here, but I don't know where my video has gone. So, um, I got a lot of interference. That was the issue I had here. So it was lots of frequencies coming in. And it's like when I, um, I've, I've constantly got like a tinnitus in my ear, but when I'm, it's almost like I'm tuning in since I had my big awakening, um, galactically and it, the frequencies change and then I can access the Pallades and I can access really, I can just kind of transport myself to, um, oh, hi, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> wherever but a bit like you I suffer chronic fatigue um and I've been in so much pain today and I was hoping I could channel it because I've had this pain just really intense pains going down my arms into my wrists and I was trying to push light codes through it um unfortunately it didn't happen but the, the I just want to go to and sit in one of your sessions and actually really just immerse myself in the amazement of it because but when the frequency wasn't being interrupted it was so pure and so beautiful I just I want to be able to sit where it's not interrupted um amazing yeah amazing thank you so much just beautiful um my body's just not doing what I needed to do today so it's it's struggling a bit but um, when I'm not in pain and when there's not any interruption, I'd love to just, you know, let go in that space. But I was finding it really hard to let go because my body was in so much pain. Um, it's you, saying my internet's unsta yes. are unstable. You coming, are you coming down to Sydney, Lou, to do any, any sound? Any yes, I was, I was going to say... Um, I Thanks, sh Kevin. I'm doing the Mind Body Spirit Festival in May, I think. Oh, okay. You coming yes, down for that? Yes, yeah. I'll be there for that. So what about I doing can... your own thing, like not at the Mind Body Spirit? Uh, and then I will do my own event while I'm there as well. I've just got to. And, and I've got to just because um, I've, I've just done two events last week, and then I've got 
more coming up. So I've got to now get my planning head on. I don't like planning too far in advance, but I will. I've got to put some, some dates. So that will probably be um, the Friday or the Saturday of that weekend that Mind, Body, Spirit is on. I'll have to find that out. Mm. And if anyone's got a venue, suggest a venue that they... Where did I you do it? Like to. you did it in um, in Darlinghurst, in that great venue in Darlinghurst last time. That was good. I did, yes. What about so that that's, venue? That's a possibility, yes. Or the Leela Centre in the in Oxford Street near the city. That's another venue. Uh, there's anyway, there's lots of venues. Okay, talk we'll to talk me. more. Talk. Yes, we'll Let's, talk. We'll but talk. I would love to. Yes, I will come and do a sound healing journey there. Definitely in May. Yeah. Yeah, Leela does. Um, the only thing is that these are in the city, these places, and you've got to catch the PT, you've got to catch the public transport or Uber or taxis because uh, it's hard to park. But at night, it's not too bad if you do it at night. But um, Lisa and, uh, and Sula there says, thank you. Are you still here, Sula? And Lisa, do you want to come on and say anything, Lisa? Where are you, darling one? Lisa Sydney, there she is. Have you gone? I think she's gone. Anyway, she said it was fantastic. I'm just getting ready for bed. I'm so, <laughs> I'm just glazed out and beautiful. So going to connect with myself. Thank you so much. Perfect. I'd love to know yes, what you experience. You. Linda, darling, how are you? <laughs> Who are you, you saying? No, uh, sorry, were you? I asking? jumped in and asked Amanda how Amanda is. Yes. Yeah, Amanda, where's Amanda? Do you want to come on? Yeah, sure. Hi. I've got to find you. Hang Hi, on, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, Lou. That was Hi. so, so beautiful. Um, I feel really heavily earthed right now. But when it first started, what first started happening for me was um, it, it was like a remembering who I am almost. And what happened is I started getting these little kind of shakes through my body and I had to just lie on the lounge and it was like in my, in my chest was kind of shaking and then my ch head would shake and um but then I actually just really settled down and yeah you could just feel these beautiful um I guess beings that were angelic and intergalactic and and I just said um the Acturian come through as well and but then also sometimes I felt like I went into the earth well not into the earth but something from the earth was some beings from the earth were, were, were coming through as well. So it was, it was just this um, incredibly interconnective, just kind of up there and below. <laughs> but it was, I was a part of that and it was a part of me and, and you and everyone here. It was just an incredible feeling of interconnectedness and coming home. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing that. And that, that's very much how it felt for me. Um, just stepping out of the way, follow, following what, what, which uh, frequency wanted to come in next. And there was very much felt very balanced of, of yes. earth and heavens. Yes. So that was my experience too. <laughs> that's, that's for me. And because I practice um, East Asian medicine and it's very much um, like the yin yang, which is heaven, earth, it's like from one there was two and then there was three and three is man. It's like heaven, earth and man. And it's like, yeah, everything exists between heaven, earth and man and um, kind of felt like that man, in, yeah, the being in the middle that was connected to the heaven and earth and then the 10,000 things, the myriad of life, like everything, just every, yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah, yes. that's wonderful. I love I love the way you've articulated that. That's, that's fantastic. Mm, thank, thank you. you. A privilege to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Bianca, darling, you have to unmute. Sorry. Hi. With you saying Hi, that, I just remembered, Amanda, um, oh. when you're talking about the earthing, because I did feel the earth beings come up too. And I remember part of the process, Lou in part of the song I was patting my body just saying thank you thank you thank you like it was like the beings were telling me to remind myself to be so grateful for being human because there was so much going on up here and and then when the earth beings came up yeah I just started patting my body and saying thank you 
<laughs> so that was really interesting. Yeah, I just remembered that. Thanks, Amanda. And Thank you. My memory. I think it's yeah, hilarious you. that you're saying it's reminding me of being human with a unicorn. <laughs> 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 yeah. you're not looking so human at the moment honey <laughs> it's just another another face <laughs> oh, oh that's, fun. that's just... fabulous it's fabulous thank you for sharing that so david do you want to uh finish it there shall i stop the recording Thank you so much, Lou. That's been really amazing for everybody. And it's been a great honour and a privilege to have you in the group and performing and channeling and being with us all. So big loves to you, darling. Oh, Thank you so, so you. much. Thank you, David. Thanks for inviting me. It's been an absolute delicious treat. It really has. And just to hear everybody. I, I love the way everyone has articulated with such amazing vocabulary to express so many different experiences so beyond my <laughs> yeah i've loved it i've loved you've enlightened us very very much <laughs> thank you gorgeous why it's been thank you and everybody thank you for joining tonight and, it's and, been so thank beautiful you, Karen, and thank you Lou. thank everybody. you so much wonderful very inspiring thank you thank you blessings Thanks, Karen, for your beautiful presence and everybody.